Download the new updated Eyewitness News, your weather authority app from your app store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. It is 12-18 as we roll into this Friday afternoon, and it's going to be a stormy afternoon, it looks like. Already starting to see these thunderstorms pop, and as far as the timing goes, I'm going to show you two different models to give you an idea of how much trouble it is uh, to really diagnose this storm system that's moving in. It's fairly complicated, and these models are bouncing all over the place. So, so I'm going to say, suffice it to say, uh, anytime this afternoon and this evening, I'm talking about all the way up to around midnight, we've got the chance for some thunderstorms out there unless we see anything differently between now and then. You can see a lot of clouds out there on the Eversville Riverfront, a little slice of sunshine there, too, on the mighty Ohio as we look at our Thule Law Sky Camera. And, of course, that's from our Fifth Third Bank perch and looking down upon the Ohio. 84 degrees. Now, of course, the past couple of days, that humidity's been nice and low. It wasn't that bad this morning around daybreak. We see that dew point really shoot up there. Now it's in the mid-70s, so it's some juicy air. South-southwest wind kicking pretty good. So apart from thunderstorms, we're still going to have a pretty good wind pretty much in that 10 to 20 mile per hour range and from the south and from the southwest. Our right, temperatures again, mainly mid 80s, but it's 88 degrees showing up in Tell City, uh, 89 in Harrisburg, 85 Calhoun, 86 in Owensboro. Of course, we have some rain cooling showers out there too. Now we did have that severe thunderstorm warning out for Perry County. That storm has moved uh, to the east and out of the tri-state altogether. It's pretty much right on top of Leavenworth right now. And you know, 60 mile per hour winds, one inch hail, we're going to see a lot of these warnings that looks like firing up. That was a severe thunderstorm warning. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw a few tornado warnings later on today. But the main threat we've got, really the highest, or I should say the greatest threat, is going to be uh, large hail. And we're talking about two-inch plus hail in diameter. So that's a pretty impressive hail. Now it looks like a little thunderstorm firing up just outside of Perry County in eastern Spencer County, just east of Santa Claus. And that's working its way Almost due east, that's going to stay, looks like north of Tell City, but not by a whole lot. You're probably going to hear a few rumbles of thunder. Let's take a little tour, get a closer look at these thunderstorms. You can see that storm has already moved out of Perry County. It was in the northeast corner when they issued that warning. You got that thunderstorm that's fired up. We're seeing a little bit of lightning. But that was the only warning that was on the board, and now, at least as far as we're concerned, now it's still, the warning's still in effect, but it no longer includes Perry County as that storm, again, has moved into the Leavenworth area. Shift it more a little to the west. We've got a little bit of rain. Looks like a heavy pocket of rain, too. Looks like a little bit of lightning within the past five minutes. Moving into the Evansville area. Looks like the west side, you're going to get a pretty good dousing here fairly soon. Again, nothing else severe at this point. And look at the rain that was in Hopkins County. Pretty impressive, pretty wide swath as far as just, you know, the heavier rain. And now it's kind of fizzling out as it works its way into Muhlenberg County. And as we take a look, at the bigger picture across the region. They've already had some severe weather, too, up to the north, just to the east of Indianapolis. So we've seen a lot of things firing up, or I should say southeast of Indianapolis. They had that thunderstorm fire up, and that was a warned storm, too. Now, we're going to be seeing the threat in this area for severe weather really throughout the afternoon and evening. Now, this is one computer model. This is our RPM computer model uh, showing us a mix of sun and clouds, thunderstorms firing up this afternoon. And this is the latest run. So now it's starting to speed up the timing. The last run, it was showing the thunderstorms holding off until later on this evening. Now we're starting to notice it's kind of coming in line a little bit more with other computer models. The thunderstorms firing up around 3 o'clock. You see just down to the southwest, there is the edge of the tri-state. Union County, Webster County, Hopkins County. But down around the lakes and also around Paducah, some thunderstorms firing up uh, that could possibly be severe. That wave is going to work its way down to the south into Tennessee. We still have, though, the threat for these isolated thunderstorms. And keep in mind, we've got the chance for some supercells out there. It's not going to be basically just a line of thunderstorms moving in. All the energy in that given area is going to be absorbed by that storm, which could enhance those storms uh, to supercell status. And, of course, that would make them even stronger. And then as we head into the evening, our future tracker is indicating maybe a stray shower or thunderstorm out there, but things settling down as we head into the evening. So, again, coming more in line with what we have seen from other computer models. In fact, let's go ahead and show you. Now, tomorrow, by the way, we're going to be seeing a mix of sun and clouds. The severe threat's over, but we still have a chance for a little bit of rain out there by Saturday afternoon, some wraparound on the back side of that system. Now, here's our HER model. This is a separate model from what I was just showing you. It's indicating, again, a little bit earlier in the afternoon, these showers and thunderstorms kind of coming out of southern Illinois, working their way into the southwest corner of the tri-state. Again, Union, Webster, and Hopkins County. And that's right around 2 o'clock. So that's about an hour, hour and a half ahead 
of the other computer model, but it is a little bit more in line. It's just, again, the timing is going to be an issue. And as those thunderstorms continue to fire up over the course of the afternoon, uh, we're going to see, as we head into evening, a lot of that shifting more to the east and more to the south of the tri-state as we go through the day. But even, you know, late as 10 o'clock, just east of the tri-state, look at those thunderstorms firing up in Breck County, even Perry County, there's a chance. So here we go. I mean, it, it really is one of those things that could go on for a long time. Moderate risk for severe weather again, eastern, southeastern half, I guess, of the tri-state. Enhanced slide kind of tapers off as you work your way into Illinois. So it looks like the greater risk is to the east. That's where they bumped up the tornado threat to 10% chance as opposed to where it was in a 5% range earlier today. So seeing a little bit more of a tornado threat, uh, damaging wind threat, 30%. And look at those hatch lines, which indicates better than 2-inch diameter hail possible, really all across the tri-state. But the greatest chance is in that moderate risk zone where there's a 45% chance of that happening. So it looks like it's going to be kind of a rough day, afternoon and evening. Mix of sun and clouds, some thunderstorms, and I'm expecting some to be severe. Breezy and humid, high temperature right around 80 degrees. So the heat is back on, the humidity is back on. Although we are going to see a bit of a break from both as we head into the weekend. We do have a cool front moving in. South, southwest wind around 10 to 20. And after the severe threat today, even though we've got a chance of rain Saturday and Sunday, Alexandra, it's going to be cooler, a little less humid out there, and nothing severe is expected. Uh, 85 for a high tomorrow and 82 degrees for a high on Sunday. And then next week we stay in the 80s too. So after today, it looks a little bit better. That is